this is Andy, and welcome to the Luxlon 4G String Review. Luxlon 4G is a rounded copoly and has a high stiffness of 259. I have it strung here in my racket of choice, the Diadem Elevator. So I remember the first time I tried this string, I thought, wow, this is lifeless. And then I hit with it some more, and after a while, guess what? It was still lifeless. So you're asking, why did I continue to use this string? And the reason is simple. It plays pretty much the same way from the start all the way to the end. At the start, just after you string it, it might have just a little bit more pop, but it plateaus pretty quickly and it plays pretty uniformly all the way. On first serves, I really love this uh, string. It enhances the power that I put into my first serve. So I was getting uh, pretty good power with it. Second serves, I had adequate spin. I mean, not crazy spin like my um, one of my string of choice, which is Babylon RPM Blast. But it was, it was enough spin to get it in play. What this racket, what the string really excelled at was volleys. And I absolutely loved volleys for this racket. And string, actually. From the baseline, um, it was a mixed bag, and I say that if you rely on very, very heavy topspin, yes, you can achieve that with the string, but you have to work for it. It doesn't come free like some of the shaped copolis. Um, but for me, what I found that was really effective, especially on returns, was to really just take a short backswing and just punch through the ball. And with that, I get what I call sneaky pace and sneaky spin. So it will be more of a tight spin that would just uh, that would come at you, but with, with depth with the shot. So I really like this on the forehand. So more of the block in forehand or a classically shaped forehand. If I were swinging wildly, wildly, then the ball would sail on me. But then again, I shouldn't be swinging wildly, regardless. Um, backhand, I found that. Um, I really just had to focus on driving through the ball, especially because of my stroke mechanics. I don't have the natural uh, racket drop on my back end. Um, so I wasn't getting as much topspin per se, but I was getting adequate topspin, but the shots were coming in really heavy. So what's surprising about the string is that, yes, it's rated at 259 in terms of stiffness, but it's really quite comfortable and actually feel like it's more comfortable than natural gut, at least for me. Um, that's very subjective, and I love to hear your opinion as to, um, as to this. And for me, the, the first time I strung uh, with 4G, I actually strung it in the crosses of my racket and put natural gut in the mains, and I found it to be a bit stiff. Um, but when I put 4G all throughout, it was perfect. The only times that I've run into sort of any issues with regards to comfort is when I'm, uh, I, have, I have the racket like behind me, I'm not hitting it on in front, then I could feel the stiffness just a bit. So I've said that this string doesn't really give you much, but what it does is it enhances what you put in. And it doesn't give you crazy spin, but as you can see from my friend Vlad who's sitting here like, with the right strokes and the right technique, you can get that spin. And so that's why I like it. It gives, lets you play the way you want to play. If you want to play passive from the baseline, you can. If you want to do serve and volley, you can. For the aggressive baseliners, you could also go for your shots and hit them uh, deep and penetrated. So this string is coming in at 20 euros or $20, depends on where you are located. So it's pricey. Um, there are strings that are much cheaper out there. But then again, if you're a string breaker and you're breaking polys in like three or four hours, and this is lasting you like 20 hours, then perhaps you might consider it because it's um, at that stage, it becomes more price effective. So I, I've said glowing praises about the string and like I've never actually broken 4G before. So why do I cut it out? And it may sound silly, but the reason is that sometimes I just get bored of the string. It just, again, it just stays pretty much the same throughout the, the entire um, session I, I play with it. 
So I cut it out because I want more unpredictability. I want more top spin, more crazy spin. I want to be able to swing wildly at, at, the, um, at my shots. At the end of the day, it's, it's all personal opinion and it's tennis. Like I'm not getting paid to play tennis. I'm just doing it for fun. So whatever works for you uh, and you're comfortable and, and it keeps and it's uh, good on your shoulders and joints, then I recommend going for it. But 4G is a good all-around string. Um, if you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend you try it. And don't just try it for one session. Do a couple of sessions to you get the feel of how you need to play with it. And then you'd see that it's, um, it just lets you play the way you want to play. I actually use this as my default string whenever I'm testing rackets, just because I want to make sure I'm testing just one variable, which is a racket. I don't want to be testing a racket and string combo because I know that 4G is gonna perform pretty consistently across uh, a wide range of rackets, actually. So here's my review of the Luxlon 4G. I hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy your tennis, and thanks again.